Well, many people would say, well, a counsellor is someone you go and see if you've got a problem or an issue um, that you can't resolve and you just need a bit of help. And okay, I would agree with that to some extent, but my definition of counselling is that it's personal development. Um, I see it as a massively kind of global uh, macro thing that we, sh we probably all should be doing in terms of understanding how we tick, knowing myself. So for me, I guess counselling is about getting to know yourself a bit, like I said, for in terms of how the students get to know themselves on, on a counselling course. Um, but counselling is very much about helping you to grow in your awareness of yourself. And often, um, I guess, Counselling looks different depending on what kind of therapist you go and see. Um, and that's quite a long and complicated answer. But it's kind of making it as simp simple as I, I can. I would say that psychotherapists would, would provide the kind of therapy that would pay attention to your past. Person-centred counsellors would um, very much be non-directive and believe that you're the one with all the answers within you and they're there to listen and dig those out. And cognitive behavioural therapists, which um, generally that's the kind of therapy you'll get on the NHS. That's about your thought processes, your cognitive processes and how that impacts your behaviour and your emotions. So I guess my simple answer to, to counselling is about counselling is that it's much of the time we're not always aware of the impact of the stuff that happens to us in our lives, you know, Monday to Sunday, we're just not aware of the emotional impact. And we, we don't notice it, we don't always pay attention to it. And that means that sometimes when tough stuff happens, and boy is it happening this year, we have a bit of an emotional car crash. Um, and we just need some help to process it. And for me, that's what, that's what counselling's about. Thank you.